Hey, hello and welcome to this new tutorial by Filmotion. And today we are bringing it back to the basics of this channel because I want to share with you a really nice technique on how to procedurally animate a title. And that means you can later on change the words and everything will automatically update. So let's just jump directly into After Effects. So in here, let's just start from scratch. We create a new composition. 1920 by 1080, 25 frames is fine, also 5 seconds sounds fine, maybe let's just make it 8, just in case. And hit OK. Now let's directly start with writing something, motion. And now I click on the align button here and just center it vertically and horizontally. The font is pretty thin, which helps a lot for the effect later on. Also, I have like a pretty round and fluid font, which also helps when it gets this fluid liquid motion later on. And also I chose the word because I have a lot of fluid motion in that direction, but the T really stands out. So I also get that motion. And last but not least, I took that font because all the letters are separate, but I also have like the, the M and the O that are connected. Because later on you will see that the effect works on each separate part differently. Okay, enough of the talking. Let's just pre-compose this and call it our text source. Because later on we can then always go back into that composition and change the word and everything will update automatically. So for the effect, we want to have three, maybe four different parts that make up the effect. If we take a look here at the example, at first we just get the thin outline. Then we have like the fill of all of this, in this case, the bluish color. Then we have like small extra white stripes, like some detail. And last but not least, that electric lightning thing that's going on here. And let me tell you something, we do all of that with just one effect. At first we want to start with the white lines and our effect is the Vegas effect. So let's just change something from the default. As the blending mode we want to have it on transparent. So we just see it on an alpha channel. At the moment we have 32 different segments. So that means 32 segments for each part. So the MO has 32, the inner circle of the O has 32 and so on. So let's directly change that to one. And now we want to animate something of this. So let's go to the very beginning and for the length, we just go back to zero. And then we go to the one second mark and bring it up to one again. So we're already getting somewhere. Now let's just make it white because we want to make the white fine lines. And for the width, let's just go to one, maybe even smaller to 0 0.5. Okay, let's work on this a little bit more. If you have a look at this, it starts hard and fades out, but I want to have it in the different way. So at the start, I want to have it at zero opacity and at the end, I want to have it at one. Great. And you see that the length of one is not enough to fill it out completely. So let's just duplicate the lines and I'm quickly soloing this. And now we want to play with the rotation. Rotation basically means at zero degrees, it starts at one point and all the way around our object, it makes 360 degrees. So when I'm going to 180 degrees, it should have made half of its way. When I'm turning on the other one, you can see now they both together make up the whole. Of course, you can play a little bit with the settings here so that it's not completely the same. Maybe make the length a little bit shorter here. And let me solo this once again. When you click on random face, it doesn't start at the same point for each letter. So this will also give it a different look. So let's just check this for one of the layers. We are getting somewhere, maybe go forward a few frames. And maybe we make this an easy ease keyframe by right click on it, easy ease. Same for this one. And while we're at it, let's just bring both of them to the same position. Great, let's duplicate one of those, solo it return and we can call this our fill and this time we want to fill it with a color maybe we go for reddish this time and let's just play with the width so that it fills out everything maybe we just bring it beneath which is also a really nice look but in this way we see how thick they need to be to really cover everything also you can play with the hardness 
Okay, now we can bring it on top again, but we want to cut that out now. So we can quickly do that by duplicating our fill again, removing the Vegas effect. So we just have the original text in here. So we you could use that as an alpha mat. And again, let's take both of them and offset this a little bit. So at first the lines appear and then after some time it gets filled out. And when playing with the hardness and the width, I kind of like that it's fading in here a little bit. You could really play with that. In addition, you could always just duplicate both of them, change the color just a little bit. I'm just taking a completely different color now so you can see it better and again work with the rotation. You see then everything would be covered and we could again offset that and as I told you maybe not take the green color but kind of a similar color maybe just brighten it up a little bit. Great! So we have that. So now let's work on those small details that we had. For that we again take the white lines, just solo those. And for the details we just want to have like a small length. So let's delete the keyframe from the length and make them as short as you like. And for the opacity we also bring up the start opacity. So we just have lines that are following. But wait, they are not following because at the moment we haven't animated anything. So it would be great if we could animate the rotation so that they would make their way around. And yes, this is exactly what we do. Therefore we could use an easy expression or you just make a keyframe at the beginning, go to the end and just increase it. But let's hold down the Alt button and click and now we type in something really easy. Time times let's say 100. And what that means is the rotation at zero is zero because the time is zero times 100 is zero. At one second the time is 1 times 100 is 100. At 2 seconds it goes to 200 and so on. So we have a fluid animation. When we watch all of that we can hardly see those lines and therefore I'm going to offset them. There are some easy ways to do that. You can really just bring them down or to the side or wherever you want. So I want to have them just popping out at one point. And we can do that by animating the start and end opacity. So at this point in time I want to see them and let's just go a few frames forward, set both of them to zero and go behind the keyframe where we see it and bring it down to zero again and maybe make them even shorter. But of course you can make different instances. Let's just duplicate it once again, change that position, click on random face for example, then you get a different look or just change the random seat so you get a different variation and you can also offset this a little bit and do that as often as you like. Already looking pretty nice. Quick tip by the way, something that I haven't done, let's just hide the white lines, duplicate it once more and I'm going to reset the position. Now the white lines are exactly on the same spot like they should be you see for example here, but now we could bring out something like an optics compensation. And what an optics compensation does, like a fish eye or something, it warps the image. So you can go to the field of view and to show that a bit better I'm quickly bringing out an adjustment layer with the optics compensation and when I'm bringing up the value you can see it bends in that direction and when I click on the reverse lens distortion it bends it outwards. And this is exactly what we want to do here. So for the white lines, I'm removing the adjustment layer. For the white lines, we want to take the optics compensation, reverse it and bring it up a lot. Now you see that they get offset it to the side. Also you could tint them in a color to see it better. Really awesome! So as the final touch, let's bring in something electric. Therefore just once again duplicate it. I don't want to use the optics compensation and I want to remove the keyframes, make them a little bit longer and maybe this time just animate the opacity from 0 to 100 and 
back again. Now, to get them look more electric like a lightning strike, we use the turbulent displace effect. Just cranking up the length a little bit so you can see it better and later on we just bring it down again. So the turbulent displace, this is without and this is with. So it distorts it quite a lot. If you bring down the amount to zero, it doesn't do any distortion. But let's bring it out so that we see what's happening. And now we can play with the size. So we want to make it a smaller size. And now we bring up the complexity. Really nice. Maybe for the Vegas effect, let's make it a little bit wider so we can see this better. And just play with the settings until you see something that you like. And for the Vegas, we bring down the length back to what we had before. And this is our lightning. So if we hit U twice on the effect, you see all the properties that we have changed and also the expression, because I wanna make this a bit stronger, maybe like 200 or even more, because then it's just moving faster. Yes, this is looking really cool. Let's see how this looks. And last but not least, we want to add a glow to our lightning. You see, this is without and this is with. Let's just make the radius a little bit bigger, maybe even more intense. And let's try and play with the blending mode, maybe something like screen or maybe even add. Yes, that makes it really hot. And there we have it, a really cool animate in effect. And as I told you before, you could always go into the text, type in something like, yeah. Go back to our comp, yeah. This is looking great. So if you also think that this is looking great, then just give me a thumbs up or feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you have questions about this technique or any After Effects questions or anything about me, just write it down in the comments below and I'll try to answer every question. And for now, I wish you a lot of fun animating text in After Effects.